Hello everybody, how you all doing? It is your boy, Just Mom. Um, you can probably see by the title. Today, we're going to be talking about a certain something about a certain someone. Um, these are my thoughts on the Mason Greenwood situation. Um... First things first, I hope uh, that Harriet, who is, I believe, Mason's then girlfriend, I believe, now ex girlfriend, um, I hope that she is safe. I hope that she's doing okay. I hope she's got the right people around her. And yeah, to those of you that do not know, I do not know how you do not know. But something came out a day or two ago regarding um, Harriet posting, I believe it was up onto Instagram. Um, a bunch of pictures and an audio file of what she deemed and tagged as what miss how mason greenwood actually treats me now we've seen the pictures i'm not going to show them on here because i can't bring it to myself to show them um out of respect for harriet who is still only an 18 year old young lady um yeah, uh, it's it's such an awful thing, but how brave of a young woman and Harriet in this situation to step forward, because now a lot of young women and just women in general will see the bravery of this young lady and actually step out um, and call out on these people that have done exactly the same as what Mason Greenwood has allegedly done to Harriet. I mean, with the evidence that is already been shown, it's looking very damning. First things first, Mason Greenwood, you should you should be ashamed of yourself the way you have conducted yourself. Um, Manchester United have been amazing throughout the situation, um, suspending him from ev any game and training um, for the foreseeable until all of this is dealt with. Um, yeah, um, <clears throat> see, this is quite difficult for me because I have a younger sister who is the same age as Harriet, um, I believe this year, or oh, she's already 18, I believe she's 18 next year, sorry, this year, and I have two younger sisters. And it's, <sighs> we all just need to show so much love and support to this young lady who has stepped forward and been ever so brave to do so. Um, I do generally believe that these young football players nowadays and I've, I've always believed it that football players earn way too much money way too soon um mason greenwood is only 20 years of age and he had the rest of his career and life ahead of him and by the looks of it he's gone and done something so awful and disgusting and just 
downright evil. It's because that this boy, he is a boy. He's a boy. He, this boy has not had the correct education. This boy has had everything handed to him on a silver platter as the rest of these football players. And now, this is this is why we need to stand up and go, clubs, stop paying these kids far too much money, taking them out of education far too soon. Let them enjoy their childhood. Yes, let them train. Let them train. But don't be offering them millions of pounds, or if not hundreds of thousands of pounds a year, before they even make it into the senior squad and Mason Greenwood's on like four or five mil a year which is obscene it, he's a 20 year old boy you know we're not con- I don't condemn the condone of what he's done but I condemn him for his actions and it is it is awful and it's I hope Manchester United take care of Harriet in every possible way that they can. I hope that she's got the right people around her because now it's going to come to the point as this goes further on. God, it can really affect you. Um, To those of you that don't know, I went through something with rape. Not me, myself, it's happened to me or anything like that. But a person I once called friend, a person that I once called a brother, went out on a night out by himself and I kept telling him, stop going out on nights out on your own. This person sexually abused a young lady out on a night out When it it arose, he told me a story. And of course, I'm going to believe him. He's my friend. And you're innocent until proven guilty in this country. Until last year, when he was sent down and found guilty. um, As he pleaded guilty. And it boggled my mind. And then in my head, I'm screaming... This boy's guilty. He's guilty of sin. But because he was such a close friend, you didn't want to see it. And it disgusted me because I have two younger sisters. And I go to myself going... Like, I don't even want to get into that. But I was genuinely hurt... I felt betrayed and I was disgusted, but not with just anything else but myself. Like, how did I not see it? And... But with this whole Mason Greenwood situation, um, if it is proven that he is guilty, his career is done and he will be spending an awful lot of time behind bars. And he has gone and destroyed his career for something so disgusting and so awful. And why, like in, in my head, it goes, Why? Making you feel like a big man, yeah? Is it making you feel tough? Does it make you feel hard? She, 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 she was your woman, she was your girlfriend. Like, the woman that you claimed you love. A man. When you say that you love a woman and you abuse her mentally, physically, sexually, you're no longer a man. You lose your manhood. You're now a little boy again. And you'll be treated as trash for the rest of your life. Any woman beater deserves the fucking heater. And if what comes across within the next two to three weeks... Um, and Mr. Greenwood is deemed guilty, then he deserves all hell and fire raining down upon him. But 
how this is how toxic Twitter has become because they believe that they have the right to say that this man is guilty. Twitter, shut the fuck up. Fucking keyboard warrior dickheads, shut the fuck up. You don't know anything. We don't. All we've seen is something. Yes, and it's incredibly brave of this young lady to step forward. But we have something in this country called innocent until proven guilty. Let's wait and see what everything says within the next two, two to three weeks. And if Mason Greenwood is deemed guilty. Now I hope that he spends a miserable time behind bars. But if he is, if he isn't proven guilty... Or how she could come across these bruises and these scars and the audio file, which, which uh, it it did sound amazing. I literally had to turn it off because I felt so disgusted. Um, this is just, um, yeah. To anybody out there that has ever gone through anything like this and I can't even imagine I can't even imagine I hope that the bravery of Harriet puts a little bravery into you to step forward to step out it's the same with mental health in a manner of sense when you agree to yourself that something is wrong Step forward. Go to people you trust. I, again, all, all my sympathies and all my well wishes are with Harriet I hope and her family. I hope that they're all okay. I hope Harriet is being well looked after. I hope Manchester United, the club itself, take care of this young girl in every way that they possibly can. Um, but I can't see... I can't see Mason Greenwood going back to Manchester United after this. Especially when players like your Cristiano Ronaldo, like your Paul Pogba, Bruno Fernandes, and near enough everybody else, like Marcus Rashford, all unfollowing him on every social media outlet. It doesn't bode well for Mason Greenwood. and I hope that if he is proven guilty... He has a hard look in the mirror and goes, who the fuck do you think you are? You're a nothing. You're a nobody. Now, you've done this to yourself because you tried to play God. Let me know of what you thought of all of this down in the comments below. Keep it respectful. Don't go too crazy. Just state your opinions and we can all have a polite debate down below. Um... Yeah. Make sure if you have enjoyed as well what you have seen, don't hesitate to click subscribe along with the bell uh, so you don't miss any any uploads. And yeah, crush the like button. And like I said, if you want to have a nice little debate and state your opinions, etc., just get down in the comments. But try and please keep it respectful. And I know that this is such a serious thing, but we all have to now be patient and wait to see and find what the police find and twitter shut the hell up stay away from it let the police do their job because that's all we can do now twitter you have no authority nobody has authority uh, only the police and the courts And uh, yeah, that's going to be it, folks. Thank you all ever so much for watching. Harriet, I hope you're well. I hope that you're safe. I hope you're being well looked after. Um, and yeah, thank you all ever so much. God bless. Take care. Stay safe. And uh, yeah. Peace.